Well, traders, I would like to summarize here a big losing day for me. And it happens. I'm down $45,000. And as you can see, I'm down just $49,000 in W day. Uh, a very nice winner in big. Big should be considered like a normal trade for me. I'll start there. It was my first trade, so I started in green. And as you can see, big gap down today by 5%. Uh, tried to move higher, failed, came down again. That was a classic gap and go, though it's moving higher right now. It took me from, I'm out of my, the rest of my quantity in big, but it did what it was supposed to do and came down. The one who did not do what it was supposed to do was the 11 gap up in W day because you also expect a gap and go in the stock that is gapping up by 11%. Here's the daily on the left side of uh, W day and that did not work out. Uh, dramatically did not work out. Although, look at the technical formation here. The technical formation was just absolutely amazing. The stock moved up, waited for full, I was waiting for, for pullback, it did come up. I took it for long, added as it was getting back to the highs. That was really the perfect formation. And then it took me out right here. Then I tried again. Uh, luckily for the second time, I did not have the chance to add, although I was planning. I, I went long. I was planning to add more. It did not continue and it came down. So that's a gap and go which failed. Now, I want to touch something here which has to do with money management which I believe is very very important uh, it's very advanced I should say so those of you who are just starting out uh, please uh, <laughs> shut your ears or something like that no I'm just joking you should know about it too but uh, let me say something here which is extremely important money management has a lot there's a lot of ways to, uh, to, to a lot of systems for money management one of them is to determine how much money you are willing to lose per trade or per day. My max loss per day, and it's going to sound weird to you because I'm down $45,000, is $10,000. That's my max loss per day. So how come I'm down $45,000? Well, I'll tell you, not all trades are created equally. Not all trading days are created equally. Sometimes, when you come across a trade which you believe, and I did believe in W day today, I said that several times today in the trading room. When you come across a trade which you believe, and yes, I was mistaken, but which you believe is going to be exceptionally good, you risk more. Now, what is exceptionally good? How can you believe that something is exceptionally good? Well, first of all, I do have a lot of experience. Yes, I was mistaken today, but usually I'm not that mistaken. I have several days to prove that with up $150,000 or some or over $100,000 or over $50,000, which I'm losing today. So you see, most of the time I'm taking a big risk, more than my max loss risk. And I know I'm taking the big risk more than my max loss risk and I'm doing well. Sometimes I'm not doing that well. That is one of these days right here. You see, when you have a money management system, you need to be flexible. You cannot just do it black and white, clear cut to decide exactly how much money you're willing to lose per day. Now, of course, if you're just starting out, don't play this game. As I mentioned earlier, close your ears. Don't play this game if you're just starting out because you don't really know what is a stock that is kind of looking to you better. Maybe you'll just mistake. You'll be you'll have more mistakes than I have, okay? So, from my point of view, and it's working very, very well for me, ever once in a while, when I come across a stock which I believe is looking better than, than other, which I believe I should risk more, much more, 10 times more, I will double my size or triple my size or do whatever I do in order to have a huge winner. I was, I knew I'm going to have a huge winner today in W day or quite a big loser. I also said that earlier. But the thing is, it is quite advanced. I don't expect new traders to do that. It works good for me. My many man, money management technique is flexible due to that. And again, if you come to the point where you need to put all in and you can afford it because it also has to do with how much money you have in your account. 
So if you can afford it and you can go all in without going bankrupt or closing your trading account or whatever trouble that can you know <laughs> follow you if you have a mistake because with just one big mistake you're out of this game sometimes. I'm not. I mean I will finish in the red week. Um, if I look back at my week I think I had a um, I think I'm down like uh, maybe ten to twenty thousand dollars this week. It's no big deal for me. Just last Friday, I earned one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in Tesla in just one trading day. So I can afford it. I can afford these kind of mistakes. I can afford to change my money management technique. I can take more risk. I can go all in sometimes, and I can afford it. And I'm right more than I'm wrong. I'm very experienced. Now, if you're, again, if you're just starting out, don't do it. If you have enough experience, should do it. Uh, you'll be the judge of it sometimes in the future. So what I'm saying here may be right to some of you, probably wrong for most of you. But even if it's wrong for you right now, you should know that that's what I do. Sometimes you should follow me, sometimes you shouldn't when I do something like that. It depending on how much money you have in account, what is your technique, whatever. But you should know that this is something that you should be doing sometime in the future. Because in the future, when you'll get more and more experience, your big earning days, like the huge earning days, like sometimes I get $150,000, something like that, they will not be there unless you adopt this technique. But not now, maybe sometime in the future. Well, I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you much today, traders. And those of you who followed me with W Day today did not have a good day. I hope you just took big with me. Uh, so I want to thank you for uh, being here with us. Thank you guys on YouTube too for following us. If you don't mind giving us a thumb up, although I'm losing so much money today. But that's a part of the game and I need to live with that. Uh, traders, it is a Friday. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, we worked hard this week and um, we should all meet here next week hoping for me for a better week. I'll see you next week and have a great weekend. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.